Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown. So today I do have seven devilishly beautiful fragrances for fall and winter. These are some bold, sexy fragrances, definitely not for the, you know, faint at heart. So if you'd like to see my pick for the devilishly gorgeous fragrances, then please keep on watching. So I do actually have three high-end luxury fragrances and I usually don't do that. I usually don't include them in stuff, but these are really, really nice fragrances. And you know, with the holidays coming up, I know this is a Halloween video, but with the holidays coming up, there should be some good deals on gift sets and stuff. So there might be an option for you if you're looking to buy some of the luxury, um, higher cost fragrances. So the very first one is definitely YSL Black Opium. This is such a beautiful fragrance. I hardly have any left. I have some left. This is just, it's, it's a classic. It's been around forever. Um, I know that this is like my cousin's favorite scent, or it was, but this is a bold, feminine, sexy, sultry type of fragrance. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna put it on for you even though I have hardly any left. Yeah, it's just, it's such a classic. Um, I've noticed with a lot of high-end perfumes, they tend to smell good on everybody. Um, all three that I'm gonna be talking about, that's the case. I've never smelt black opium on someone and be like, oh, that smells weird, that doesn't smell good. It smells good on everybody. It's such a gorgeous scent. It's definitely, I think for a lot of people, it would be a nighttime fragrance, but I think you can wear whatever fragrance you want whenever you want, but you've been wanting to try the YSL Black Opium, I think this is a perfect time to do it, especially with stuff gonna be better deals and everything like that. So anyway, love this one. Another high-end fragrance that absolutely, absolutely adore, it's definitely like in my top five fragrances, and it is Calvin Klein Eternity. This stuff is incredible. I love it. Once again, I'm down to like almost nothing, but it's just such a beautiful, beautiful scent. Florally, definitely feel like there's definitely some white um, floral in there. A little bit um, musky, a little bit woodsy. Once again, I've smelled Eternity on a lot of people and it, it always smells good. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you know, out of these three high-end fragrances, Calvin Klein Eternity is would be the one that I would actually purchase. It just smells absolutely amazing. Um, I, I absolutely love this. This definitely is up there with the Bodycology Fresh White Musk. That's how much I do like this. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I definitely, when I smell Eternity, I definitely imagine an older person wearing this. I don't know how well, you know, late teens, 20s, I don't know how much they would like this because it is a little bit more bold, a little bit more mature, but it does smell amazing. So Calvin Klein Eternity is definitely one of those fragrances that is absolutely amazing. Love it. And then the last high-end luxury one is the Miss Dior. This stuff is great. Um, this one is a little bit more feminine than the other two, but still just such a nice scent. Once again, almost out. A lot more floral with the Miss Dior, but smells absolutely incredible. Yeah, I do like the Miss Dior. I can see someone younger wearing this. I can see someone older wearing this. So I think this is all around just a very universal fragrance. I can see a lot of people liking this, maybe over the other two, the Eternity and the um, Black Opium, but really, really nice scent, a little bit softer, a little bit more demure, but it's still bold, if that makes sense. I like this one a lot. Okay, those are the three high-end luxury fragrances. The rest are super duper affordable. So we're gonna jump right into the um, in style. This is the Chanel Impression Chanel Dupe. This one's really, really nice. As you can see, this one has been well loved. It's just such a nice fragrance. If you are someone and you know that you like Chanel, this is gonna be a good option for you. Um, not musky, not woodsy, not spicy but it's still bold. It's still something I imagine wearing in the fall, winter. It's a beautiful scent. Wearing a nice cuddly sweater and throwing this on. It's very feminine, so really, really nice fragrance. In style, uh, you can purchase at Walgreens and on Amazon. Those are the two places I found it. It's a really, really nice scent. You already know how I feel like feel about 
in style fragrances. I think they are some of the best um, affordable dupe perfumes out there. Really, really nice. So like this one a lot. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Love it. Okay, the next three are pretty bold. Um, they do have some musk. They do have some woodsiness. They are some bold fragrances. And uh, the one I want to talk about first is the um, back or black is black. That's what it's called. Black is black. I have the woman's women's. This is what that is. And then I also have men's. They're both incredible. Because I do wear men's cologne from time to time. I just find it nice. This is a very sexy fragrance. Very sexy. There's some vanilla. There is definitely some floral notes in there, but it does go a little bit deeper with a little bit of musk. Um, some woods. It's just such a nice fragrance. It is still feminine, but it is just, it kicks you in the teeth in a good way. You know what I mean? Very long lasting. Does have a little bit of vanilla in there, but it's such a great fragrance. I need to start using this more. I had to dig all these out of my collection. So I'm glad that I do these types of like fragrance roundup videos of like multiple fragrances that I'm talking about because it kind of help reminds me of what I already have and I need to use it because fragrance doesn't stay good forever. It does turn. So I'm glad that I do do these videos. Ugh, smell some chocolate in there. It's just such a warm, beautiful scent. So if you know that you like some musk, if you already know that you like some woods, you like some floral and some like chocolatey coffee notes maybe the black is black is a beautiful beautiful scent absolutely incredible love the bottle packaging you know it's not the most important thing but it does help you know what i mean Alrighty, so this next one um you know that i love the javon white musk beautiful scent if the javon white musk is not musky enough for you if you want something that's a little bit more bold doesn't go quite as bold as like Lady Stetson or anything like that. The Jovan Black Musk. This stuff is incredible. It smells so, so good. I'm trying to find where I have it sprayed yet. Okay, there we go. There's, there's a place. This is just such a beautiful scent. A lot more bold than the Fresh White Musk. Just a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. Um, I can see this also being a good... Um, nighttime kind of fragrance, but once again, wear, wear what you want when you want it. You know what I mean? This stuff is very, very long lasting. It is just a gorgeous scent. So if you want something that's a little bit richer than the Fresh White Musk or the White Musk, go with the Black Musk by Jovan. It is a gorgeous scent. Absolutely stunning. It smells incredible. Alrighty, this last scent kind of ticks me off and it's only because I can't find the other two that I absolutely adore. And I am talking about Charlie Blue. I have Charlie White, I also have Charlie Silver. Not too long ago, I talked about Charlie Red. I cannot find the white or the silver, which really, really ticks me off because I know I didn't get rid of it. But anyway, Charlie Blue. Charlie Blue reminds me a lot of the Calvin Klein Eternity. Same kind of vibe, same kind of feel um, the Charlie Blue has. It is such a great scent. I absolutely love it. It's just... One of those scents that I could see myself if they're like, okay, you have, you can only wear one scent for the rest of your life. It would definitely be a tie up with, um, Body Ecology Fresh White Musk and Charlie Blue, just because it does remind me so much of Calvin Klein Eternity. It's just such a beautiful scent. A little bit musky. There's some floral in there. It's feminine while still being very, very bold. I can see a lot of people enjoying this one. It's a little, it's like a step up from Charlie Red, intensity wise, boldness wise, but it's beautiful. This stuff I think is almost more like a cologne concentrate. It is very long lasting. You don't need to use very much. It's absolutely incredible. So love Charlie Blue. Would definitely recommend it if you like a bold feminine fragrance. You don't want to spend a lot of money. All these fragrances are a little bit older. You know, obviously the three luxury high-end brands you know, it doesn't matter how long they've been out, they're gonna be able to charge more because it is luxury brand. But the um, other four, great options, super affordable online, in store, whatever, but oh, I'm gonna use this tonight. I'm saving this out so I can get, use it after I get out of the shower. But yeah, those are my picks for the devilishly beautiful fall and winter fragrances that you might need in your collection. I hope you did enjoy. 
Um, if you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments what are some of your favorite super bold, super sexy fragrances. I would love to know down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week, all about budget beauty, um, home decor, vlogs, hauls, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe. But I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start out of playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy. I'll see y'all here in just a sec.